Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Oh my goodness, a couple of weeks ago I left you with this huge cliffhanger and today I promise you the finale of the Input Search Options dialog box. Oh yeah, have you been able to sleep? Well, I promise after today you're gonna be able to sleep because today is the finale. All right, so let's make sure we're all on the same page here. I'm gonna type in a couple of characters. I'm gonna type in LI, and you will see on the right-hand side of the screen is the suggestion list that pops up. And you'll see that it starts off with commands that start with an LI or have an LI in it, and you'll also see if I click on the plus, I get system variables that start with an LI or have an LI in them. And then I get content that starts with an LI or has an LI in it. All right, so, and just so you know, also, for those of you who like to use your keyboard, let me just try this again. Let's do LI again. If I hit the tab key, you'll see that it also bounces from one list to another. So if I hit the tab key, it goes to system variables, then it goes to content, and then it goes back to commands for those of you who like to use your keyboard. All right, so let's go into, I'm going to do a right click, and let's go into the input search options dialog box, quite a mouthful. And, you know, we covered this and this over here. Now we're going to take a look at this search system variables option here. So if you deselect this, you turn it off, then you will only get the command list. If you turn off search content at command line, you'll, you will no longer get content as well. So you have complete control over what shows up in that suggestion list. I mean, you can turn the whole darn thing off if you want to, right? We, we, we showed you that as well by turning off enable autocomplete. You can turn everything off if you want to. Right, so you'll also see that the system variables and the commands were separated. Now, you can turn that off and it will intermingle them. If you feel okay about that, if you feel about them okay with them hanging out together, then you can go ahead and turn that off and it'll just intersperse them together. I find that a little confusing, but that's completely up to you. If you're really good at your commands and system variables and you're okay with them hanging out together, you can turn that off. Now, this is interesting right here. Uh, this is the amount of time it takes for that suggestion list to show up. 300 milliseconds, that's like, you know, a third of a second, and less than a third of a second, and uh, it's like nothing. But if I were to change it to, let's change it to 1,000 milliseconds, that's a second, right? So if I type in, we will type in the letter L, and I go one, okay? One second now for that suggestion list to show up. Someone has to sit around and think up these commands, right? These important options for you, or in my mind, have fun with your coworkers. The highest number you can set it to is 10,000, which means 10 seconds will be involved before this suggestion list will show up. So now, if I type in LI, please note one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay, count it a little fast. Then the suggestion list shows up. I consider this a way to torture your coworker, so you might want to think about that. You did not learn it from me. All right, so let's go back into the input search options dialog box. All right, we've covered this, we've covered this, we've covered this. Let's put this back at 300, otherwise it's pretty painful. 300, whatever number. Okay, how about this enable autocorrect, all right? Not all of us are known for our amazing spelling abilities. We're CAD users, for goodness sakes not spellers. So consequently, we love autocorrect because it allows us to spell the commands wrong and it's gonna do a fine job of figuring out exactly what we meant. It's not gonna give us that invalid command, which is not a very nice response, right? So AutoCAD's become much more friendly, much more forgiving. Um, but you can turn that off if for some reason you just wanna test your amazing spelling abilities, you can turn it off. Uh, you, can also tell, you can also tell autocorrect to remember your mistakes so that it, your mistakes will actually show up in the suggestion list. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I have it set to the default, which is after three mistypes. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead, just hit okay to get out of here. And um, for example, if I type in line like that, you will see that it's smart and it converted it over to line because it understands that I didn't really mean the line command. Um, if I type in zoom and I forget the O, I've actually misspelled it so many times that it displays the way I spell it incorrectly, but it knows I mean the zoom command. So in this situation, autocorrect took over because I, I have misspelled it more than three times. Right? In fact, I'll also show you since I've misspelled it more than three times, if I come up to manage 
You will also see that there is an autocorrect list option that you can open and you can see I've made a few I've, mistakes. There are things that I've typed in multiple times. This one I actually manually typed in myself. So let me show you how this works. This one was added in by AutoCAD. I can tell because it's all uppercase and I never type in all uppercase. So after I typed in Zoom incorrectly three times, it automatically added it into this autocorrect list. But you can add your own. You can have a party. You could say every time I type in, let's say, um, Duncan, comma, doesn't matter whether it's uppercase or lowercase, space, asterisk, I wanted to execute the donut command. You can do that. It's no problem. <laughs> you can say every time I execute the line command, I want to execute the circle command. You can do that. It gets really complicated as far as priorities are concerned. But nevertheless, you can put your, you can put your own autocorrect list together if you find you have issues or problems with your spelling that it's not picking up. If it is picking it up, it'll do it for you. Don't worry about it. So you would need to save this, right? I would need to save this. And then by default, you actually have to leave AutoCAD and come back in before this will take hold. I'm not going to do that. But there is a command, a cheater command called reinit for reinitialize that allows you to tell AutoCAD, this gets complicated, that you want it to kick that file in. That file is actually part of the PGP file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that for the PGP file. It's going to kick that file in. Otherwise, you just leave AutoCAD and come back in. And now technically, I can type in Duncan. So look, it's showing up too in my suggestion list. I can type in, type in Duncan and it's going to execute the donut command. All right, wow, that's a lot of information. That's great for those of you who can't spell correctly. All I know is that on my smartphone, I have spelled tomorrow incorrectly so many times because the I is right next to the O that it finally added it incorrectly to my dictionary, which makes me a very sad person because I don't want to spell it incorrectly. Anyway, so, so you can customize the input search options dialog box to work the way you want it to work. And now you are an expert at the input search options dialog box. No more cliffhanger for you this week, but I'll see you back here in two more weeks. I hope you enjoyed the finale.